Hey, what's up guys? Big Sloth here. Today I'm going to give you my build for the PPSH loadout. This gun is really, really good and it's very powerful. But first I'm going to show you a few clips of how good it is and you can go from there. As you can see, it's pretty good at range, but it's very, very good up close. You will definitely have a few people getting upset and rage quitting on you. And honestly, that's okay because that makes the game more fun. But anyway, I'm going to be quiet, let you guys check out a few more of the clips, and then I will be back at the end of the video to give you a breakdown of my loadout. Oh yeah, remember to like and subscribe, and comment down below what you think of my build for the PPSH. That's it. Enemy dropping into the AR. Yeah, You're on the balloon, I guarantee it. That's how you do it. A Nebula 5 bomb has been discovered. Stay alert. Just Tactical nuke inbound. There. <laughs> A Nebula 5 bomb has been deployed. Yeah. It won't stop the first two because... Ah! Man, they fucked me there. Spotted. Oh yeah, he's outside on the buy spot I think. Fucking ass, bro. Enemy cluster strike. Directly above me on the roof. Taking fire over here. Someone's right above us. Bro. Supply box located. Move. All right, guys, this is my build for the PPS. First thing I'm going to put on there is the oil can suppressor for vertical and horizontal recoil control. Following that up will be the Zac 300 barrel, followed by the slate reflector. Next, I'm going to use the Empress custom stock for flinch resistance. Perk 1 and 2, you can use whatever you want there. After that, I'm going to use the rubber grip for recoil control with no downside, followed by the Nambu 71 rounds with the high fire rate and recoil control. Lastly, I'm going to use hollow points for limb damage and the pistol grip for sprint to fire speed. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you like the PPSH as much as I do. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.